Hi everyone. Welcome to Chunky Junkies Minis and More. My name is Janice Freeman. Um, today I thought I would actually just do a little tutorial. I did a junk journal recently that uh, was called Cowgirls and Their Horses. And in there I had some waxed packing paper, waxed paper bags, that kind of thing. And I made different little projects. This one was um, was just a little, kind of like a folder, I guess. There, there was no ceiling of it. It was just tied with uh, this twine. And it was lined, like I lined it with tracing paper and then I ripped the tracing paper so that there was a little bit of frill left over. And then I did one that was a pocket envelope which was this one. So I cut, once I waxed it, I don't know if I lined this one. Yeah, this one was lined with coffee dyed paper. And then I made a little mini junk journal. So there's nothing really in it. I just have it, I held it with a index clip and it's just very basic, nothing much in it. I did line it with, um, some scrapbook paper that I had created out of material actually. And then I just put in a few little signature, one signature with a few things, but I used that waxed paper on that as well. So I thought I'd show you how I do that. And then maybe we'll create, um, I, I wanna create a few more of the envelopes or maybe even just the folders, but uh, I have another big project that's, that I'm working on and I wanna put some of those in there. So if you're interested, and what I use is just plain old, most of it is out of paper bags, it's a little paper bag, um, packing paper. I, haven't, I don't think I've tried this light color, so I'm gonna try some of that maybe today. This regular paper here. This one had a bit of a mm, off, off creamy color to it, so. And then this is, some that I have done previously. So it, it's just a paper bag that I had ripped. Um, and once it was waxed, if you crinkle it, you'll get this effect of all the cracking in it. And if you don't like the way it came out, then you would just iron that again and it'll just smooth it all out again. So I have numerous pieces of paper here that I have coffee dyed. Pardon me, not coffee dye, waxed. This one I have crinkled up. This is a little paper bag. And then I just wrinkled it all up. I really like the effect of this one. So I might make an envelope out of it or a folder. This one, this little piece, I'm gonna try this again today. I had um, used my distressed inks, sprays. What are they called? Distress spray stains and I use vintage photo walnut and what else do I use antique linen those were the three that I usually like um, anything anything you like whatever color but it, it came out dark and that's what this one was it that's what had been done to this there was some distress stains that I had sprayed on it, I think. I really don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that's what I did. So we're gonna try that again today. And then, uh, yeah, this is just, depending on the color of your paper, will depict the color um, that the wax paper will come out to be, so. So that's what we got. So, this is a piece of just craft packing tape, Oh, packing paper that I have already distressed with those colors I was talking about. So what you'll need is I have an old raggedy towel here that I didn't need anything and I put a piece of wax paper underneath all of this. I don't know why, just, just to protect my table or because this thing is crusty with wax from previous jobs. Like it's, it's, it's really crusty. I'm sure I wouldn't even have to put the pallets on for the first go around here. And then you'll need an iron and whether you go to a secondhand store and get one, I bought a really cheap one, so it is new, but 
it's only used for this. This is the only time I use it. I don't use it on clothes after or anything. It's just for waxing papers. And you can wax just about any kind of paper there is, including, um, what are they? Paper napkins. When you tear them apart, so you've got one ply, and then you do this waxing technique on there, they almost turn like a glassine with a printed image on them, whatever the image was on the nap paper napkins. So that's another option. I'm not gonna be doing that here today. I'm really into the really grungy look. That That's what I love doing, and so that's what I'm sticking with. I'm working on another large journal. Um, it's going to be like a Wild West theme, and I wanna put some of these, um, these kind of envelope things in there. Uh, so I wanna grunge them right up. Okay, so to do this, you want some, I got this, it's organic beeswax and it's pellets. You want the, the organic and you want the raw and natural. So 100% organic, raw, natural beeswax pellets. I've seen ladies use candles. I've seen ladies use um, scented candles even. Um, I've never tried it. This is, this was what I had seen used. So this is what I got and I got this off Amazon and uh, they work like a charm. So they're just little pellets and you just sprinkle a few on. You don't need a lot and you'll start with that and you want your iron. You do not want steam, but you want your iron on hot, a hot setting. No steam. Make sure there's no water in your iron. And then you're just gonna melt that into the paper. And I can see I already like the color that it's gonna be because of that distressing I did with the sprays. And if you do this a few times and then, you know, you put it away and then you come back and do some more after a day or two, you're iron might smoke like crazy it will be burning off the wax that was left um, from your previous job so it's nothing to be concerned about it'll burn right off so okay so put a few more in here And you just move the wax around to where you kind of need it. Yeah, I really like this spray job that I had done on this one convinced this one was sprayed now when I look at it this might have just been a really dark um, packing paper because I don't see any spray spraying uh, on this one like any distinction between the, the colors anyway Then you're gonna just go over it, make sure there's none left that aren't melted. And there you have it. So we'll set this one aside. I really like that. Okay, set that one aside. Let's try this funny cream color. I don't know what this is gonna do. happy with this one, but you never know. It's probably a lot more than I need.
You'll notice when you're doing this, depending on the weight of the paper, um, it will become translucent, more so than it was in its original state. So these lighter ones actually may show up. They may be more translucent looking than the darker ones. We shall see. light. Oops. So you can see how translucent it's become. And I'll let these newer ones, like I'll, I'll let these probably sit for a good day before I actually start using them. They seem to be quite waxy to the feel at the beginning, but um, as the days go by, they seem to not feel so waxy. I don't know why that is. I'm sure I can make some out of this little one. So that's a piece of packing paper. And again, you can see the translucency that it, it gives a little bit. And as I stated, now when I crinkle this, yeah, you'll start seeing uh, little, the little lines where you crinkle it. And it gives a, that leather, we leather weathered look. Now this is a piece of coffee dye paper that I really do not like at all, but I thought, eh, let's try it, see what happens. I haven't ever done just a, this is just plain photocopy paper, 20 weight. So we'll see what that does. I haven't done one of these before. My favorite but I'm sure I can do something with that same thing it's a little translucent more so than it was but 
so yeah, whenever I work with this now to create, be it these folders or envelopes or little journal covers, whichever, I do line them. So, and I, because they're wax now, there's not a lot of glues that you can use that work or that want to adhere to that beeswax. But I think this one, if I remember correctly, when I did this one, I used Fabri-Tac and it actually did hold it. It's uh, Fabri-Tac and this tracing paper, coffee dye tracing paper is what I put inside this one. So that is an option, um, but so I've got one cut out. This is one that I want to put in this journal that I'm working on. So it's got a little tear down here, but once it's sewn, you won't see that. So you just cut out the template that you want, or you can make up your own, and then uh, um, it'll just fold up like this. Get sewn all the way around. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch, and then this is the cover, and then I'll decide how I want it the closure but that's what you end up with so and then oh yeah uh, once it's done the more you crinkle it and they they are kind of fragile right right now you can poke a hole in them fairly easy but if you want those wrinkles this is how you get them you don't you don't really get in there you just kind of fold it and, enough to crease that wax or break the wax and then you'll get these really leathery looking and if for some reason you don't like that look you iron that back out and it'll just it'll disappear like that so I'll let that dry again and then I'll crinkle it again to match but that's what I'm, I'm gonna be happy with that and once I say once I sew it then and then you can decorate it any way you want with could just attach and again I used um, Fabri-Tac on, on the beeswax for all of these little stamps and whatnot. And I noticed this stamp, I've, I've made this a while back, and if you look at the stamp closely, you can see that the wax has kind of seeped into it, so it looks wax now too, which is kind of neat. So it looks, it just gives it a more aged look. And I did stamp on these. Um, it's a little, yeah, it's a little, rough because it kind of bleeds um, when you stamp on them. I mean, you can make it out. And again, it gives it that weathered, aged look, and that's what I'm always after. So I like it, but some may not. So, And then you can put whatever kind of closure you want on them. And again, this one was lined with coffee-dyed paper, this one with tracing paper, and this one with scrapbook paper. And... Uh, because this was just a fold over, I didn't do any sewing, but everything is sewed together because of it being waxed in the type of glue. Okay, hope you enjoyed it.